recording. Which is the message that we can send to the Spanish people and the whole world uh, people about uh, precautionary principle, uh, using phones, uh, these get lines that uh, are in France, in UK and other countries, maybe here in Spain and the rest of the, of the world, we, we must to have these um, well, uh, principles, no? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think we have to be clear that the study does not prove that there is risk. We, we cannot conclude that. But I think there are enough indications that there may be risk uh, among these relatively low users compared to today that we have to be concerned. And so I think um, that until we have stronger conclusions, it's reasonable to take precautions and to limit one's exposure. And limiting exposure is easy because if we remove, if we increase the distance from the head of the phone, then the exposure reduces very much. And so using the speakerphone or using uh, uh, hands-free kits or using text messages are a very good way of reducing one's exposure and also using normal telephones. With the base uh, station antennas and with the Wi-Fi that there are the other points that are concerning the people, do you think that the, the same precautionary principle must be given to the authorities, for example, reducing the expositions, reducing the emissions, uh, using the cable? Uh, it's difficult because, as I said, we have not proven that there's a risk. And the exposures from mobile, from mobile phone base stations are much, much lower than the exposures from the phone. Uh, in France, we had done a study in which we gave uh, people exposure meters for 24 hours and we found that by far the greatest source of exposure even at the belt was the mobile phone it was not the base station it was not the wi-fi you know the highest business the highest exposure was still the phone so the exposure levels from from base stations and from wi-fi are generally much much lower and i think that the exposures from base stations are going down because the idea is to have more base stations but that emit lower levels of exposure but um, you know, so this, this is one way. I, th I think reducing levels of exposure is definitely a good way. Mm. Um, also, there are uh, alternatives. For example, uh, well, we we are fighting in, in my street mm -hmm. against one by base station because it's near to a school. Mm -hmm. um, the solution of the company, the Telefonica, was the the, the, the the you know that there are the radio links that are emitting, uh, connecting uh, antennas, the base stations, one base station with another. And they use now internet as the alternative. Maybe if we have... Uh, uh, with the wire? Oh, yes, okay. yes. They, they avoid uh, the... because they are the, the antennas, yeah. but to the, the, the radio link that is uh, maybe higher uh, with a potential very, very hard. Mm -hmm. There are two two issues, no, yeah. with the antennas, not only the antenna, or the, mm -hmm. the radio link. Then there are alternatives. Then uh, that's the question: if the neighbors are fighting for something in our case, and they use an, an alternative, maybe that is the way uh, from 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 everybody, no, <laughs> to find alternatives, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Yes, I mean, I, I really can't comment on that because I don't know enough about, about the technology for this, so it's difficult for me to, to, to say anything uh, intelligent about it, I'm afraid, yeah. but it might be a solution. Yeah. Okay. What, what do you expect in the future uh, about, uh, that's the last question, <laughs> about Interform? What do you expect? Uh, um, different results in, in Neuroma Acoustics, the parotid. Uh, I, I don't know yet because we have not finished the analysis. Unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, many things happened in the last few years. I moved to Catalonia. My group in Lyon was very big and now it's very small. So there hasn't been the, the, the time or the money to try and finish the analysis for the acoustic neuroma. Because we've done a lot more work on glioma and meningioma than, than we thought that we had foreseen at first. So it took a lot more time. And uh, so, but I, I think that now the new director of IARC is trying to find money to be able to complete the acoustic neuroma analysis uh, rapidly. But uh, I don't know the results yet. The, the people who has, for example, as me, you know, this sensibility 
against base stations near mm -hmm. to schools. Um, we are in the good way, <laughs> or, or maybe we are wrong. <laughs> what do you think about these citizens that in a voluntary way yeah. we are uh, years by years, because that is no question of mm -hmm. uh, last day, no? Uh, what do you think about us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you, may, you may be right. I, I don't know the answer. I don't know whether base stations are dangerous or not. Uh, the results of Interphone are much less conclusive than I would have liked them to be. I would have liked the answer to be clear. Then we could say something. But the answer is not clear. Maybe there is nothing. Maybe there is something. But I don't know. But if there's something, I expect the effect of the base stations would be much less than the effect of the phone. But, uh, but, but, but I don't know. So you may be right. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>